Good evening, everybody. If you missed this at the top of the show, we were talking about high temperatures today. Very, very warm. We didn't set any record highs with these numbers, but we did find temperatures above average. Average highs about 72 or 3 degrees. Anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees above average today hit 80 in Terrell. Boy, it felt good. I'm not ready to let go of summer yet, but of course, we're done with summer officially, and we're done with these temperatures officially as well. Currently, it's 70. That's not bad. 16 minutes after 10. Eastern time, we'll take 70 degrees right now. 67 in Robinson at 72 in Flora. Farther to the north and to the west, it is colder. We've got some rain showers moving in. Here's your Friday. Does not get back into the 70 degree range. Doesn't get back into the 60 degree range. We're going to struggle to get up to 57 because the winds will change direction while you're sleeping this evening. All right, we've got some rain showers in the forecast. Even a few isolated thunderstorms not out of the question tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Cloudy, colder, windy. And we're going to see a chance for some isolated thunderstorms with these rain showers. It looks like we stay below severe limits, but something we have to keep our eyes on, of course, and we'll do that for you. We'll track this system all the way through. And again, you're going to expect rain showers at the bus stops tomorrow morning, again in the evening, maybe a little bit of break during the lunchtime hour, but that's really about it. This is essentially your cold front right now. Let's back up here and talk about, we were just showing you that snow. Yeah, first measurable snowfall in the United States coming uh, today, up here in some of our northern states, I should say, coming out of Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, they got some rain showers up that way, so or snow showers rather. Let's keep that there. I don't see that coming our way, but of course we're going to keep our eyes on that one for you as well with the temperatures getting colder this weekend. This cool pool of air, cold pool of air, it is going to dip to the south. We are going to get into the 30s like Billings is right now at 39. But again, we're at 70. Our temperatures, same as Atlanta, Georgia, at 70 degrees. Phoenix, still a cool 93 degrees right now. In the meantime, though, let's talk more about the path of this cold front, okay? It's moving through as we speak. Our winds are still out of the south right now. They'll be out of the north by about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when we actually see the upper level winds, surface winds filter behind this cold front move in. Our rain showers don't move in immediately, but those rain showers we saw to the north slowly just kind of sag in here again while you're sleeping. Look to hang around during the bus stops tomorrow. Look to hang around off and on through the day tomorrow. Most active in the afternoon. These little yellow pockets here indicate that, again, some isolated thunderstorms are possible. Upper 50s, that's it. Winds are going to be out of the north. That's in the afternoon. It does not warm back up above 57 degrees tomorrow for most of the Wabash Valley. Staying cool and then cold. Upper 30s, that's tomorrow night. Be ready, everybody. A, a completely different air mass is going to be in place for tomorrow, the weekend. Saturday's high under partly cloudy skies, 54 or 55 degrees at best. So 50 tonight. Winds will be out of the southwest, changing to the northwest. Rain showers are moving in as we speak. 50 degrees will be your overnight low. Turns colder, scattered rain again tomorrow, high of 57 degrees. And then tomorrow night, down to 37. Now you say, wait a minute, that's cold enough to change that rain, or it's getting cold. Yeah, it's getting close enough to start talking about the snow word, but we're not putting snow in the forecast this weekend. Seven day stays, well, cooler than average. We'll see highs this entire weekend only topping out in the mid 50s.